this figure as it is. Now consider that I have one pipe that is this single pipe and we have a here this side is the inlet and this side is exit. So this one is inlet and this one is exit. So is this exit is taking place in the large environment. So what we model is that we have a finite area equal to what A1 but this one is very very large. So can we model this A2 is very very greater than A1 and is it nothing but loss due to exit. So we will continue the same equation because that is applicable. We have law of conservation of mass applicable, momentum applicable and energy equation applicable. So if A2 is very very large as compared to A1, can we say A1 by A2 is approximately equal to 0. So what is HL for exit? HL for exit is simply equals to what? V1 square. V square. So I will simply write a V square because it is the same velocity. So this is V square by 2G. So this time if I had to write down the coefficient of loss. So what is the coefficient of loss for this one? It is a 1 minus A1 by A2 whole square. So as such there is a value equal to 1. So the loss coefficient equal to 1 here. Now the same figure I will use for loss due to entry also. Now imagine that this uh, pipe is connected to again large tank. So if you know that area of the tank you can substitute and you can solve it. If you don't know that area, assume that area is very very large. So is this value is same as HL for entry also. So HL for entry when the model is that this tank is very very large then value of A2 will be very very large. V1 you have to select as a smaller finite dimension. So is this value will be same as V square. So for this also loss question equal to what? 1. Last case is sudden X contraction. Sudden contraction section 1, section 2. Initial streamlines are parallel. So section you have to consider from this streamline to this streamline. And now inside this one is this streamline will try to converge. So they will try to converge like this and this streamline will go like this and will try to converge like this. So is it going to form vena contractor? So here we have a section called as vena contractor. We are done initially. So let's call this section equal to C section. Now see this figure and see this figure. Is it one and same figure? So the losses maximum eddy formation is taking place in the vena contractor region and very little is going to form. So these losses are neglected and only these losses are considered and this figure is same as this figure. So in fact the sudden contraction is taken as sudden expansion but from vena contractor to exit. So I will call this section is C. This one is called as vena contractor. Vena contractor is actual area and 2 is theoretical area. When we will apply the continuity equation between this point and this point. If the continuity equation is AC multiplied by VC is same as A2 multiplied by V2. And this figure if compared with this figure is the velocity at section 1 is more as compared to 2. So in this figure is the velocity at C is more than 2. So 1 is replaced by C and we will continue the last form. So we will get HL. This is V1 square. Instead of V1 is it VC square. Instead of 1 it is C. So is it VC square on 2G. This time is 1 minus. This one is A1. One is AC by A2. Is it whole square. And can we replace this VC in terms of V2 now? Because this velocity you can very well calculate. So if you want to replace this VC in terms of V2, you get V2 square multiplied by V2 square by AC square into 2G into 1 minus AC by A2. Now I want to take this term back inside. So this equals to V2 square by twice G. It will go inside. Then is this term can be written as a2 by AC. So this square will be adjusted as it is and then this is 1 minus is it AC by A2. So we are not disturbed this term also and but we are include this term inside. Multiply and solve it further. So what do you get HL equal to? H equal to V2 square divided by twice C inside. Is it A2? And is it minus 1 now? And is this term is more simplified now? Now when I have given you the value of contraction I also defined coefficient of contraction. Remember that? Is it defined as area of contraction divided by theoretical area? So theoretical area is 2 and area at vena contractor is AC. Is this term is AC divided by A2? So is it 1 by CC? So we get a standard form of this one is V2 square divided by 2G. Is it 1 upon CC minus 1 and whole square? Coefficient of contraction is always less than 1. So reciprocal will be greater than 1. So this value is guaranteed positive. So this term is called as loss coefficient in the case of sudden contraction.